Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Monday, May 21st, 2018, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Fractional moves higher in the precious metals with gold closing up about $1.20, closing at $12.92.10, and silver closing up about $0.04 cents at $16.53. An 11 point drop in the dollar aided in that upside move, 93.43 in the dollar, and the Dow broke above 25,000 for the first time since March of this year, closing at 25,013. That's a net gain of 298 points today. Bitcoin futures also close higher, closing up a couple hundred dollars at 84.05 and 83.65 in the CME and CBOE futures exchanges. Gold closed fractionally higher today, trading up 70 cents by the close, closing at 1292, and that of course is basis most active June contract. What is most interesting about gold pricing today, as well as the dollar, is the identification of a single candlestick type, both contained in the pattern group simply called umbrella lines. Umbrella lines are unique to candlesticks in that they are the only candle type in which color is unimportant and they are determined by where they are found in the trend. The umbrella line consists of a hammer, a hangman, a shooting star, and an inverted hammer. In gold, we can identify a hammer, and a hammer as well as a hangman are identical in terms of the look and formation of the candlestick type, except that the hammer occurs after a defined downtrend, whereas a hangman occurs after a defined uptrend. Interestingly enough, in the dollar index, we can easily identify a shooting star, also from the umbrella group, and it's the exact opposite of the hammer hangman. This is from the group that contains a shooting star and an inverted hammer. And what interests me the most is the fact that these candles are occurring on the same day in both gold, which is displayed on the top part of our screen, and the dollar on the bottom. Regardless of the candlestick pattern that we have identified, one thing is absolutely clear when we look at our gold chart, and that is over the last four trading days, we have had these defined small bodied candles that have all occurred above the 0.618% retracement, suggesting that gold is attempting to form a base and find support. This could be a base that is broken later with lower pricing or a jump off point in which we could see higher pricing. And although gold pricing did contain the lowest low this year, and that is when in trading, gold went to 1281. The fact that we saw a dynamic recovery and the market actually closed slightly above its open, creating the hammer, suggests that we could see a bounce to higher pricing. For right now, we will remain flat with no active trades, and we will look to see how gold pricing reacts at this critical price point. Since the sell-off that occurred on Tuesday of last week, taking both gold and silver pricing dramatically lower, silver has been exhibiting a much more bullish tendency than gold. If you recall from our gold charts, we had opens and closes that were relatively narrow and also right around the same price point. Whereas with silver, we've had slow and methodical climbs, our high today reaching 1653, which is also our closing price and also matches exactly where the current 50-day moving average resides. A break above this would suggest higher pricing and resistance, of course, would come back at the 200-day moving average as we have seen in recent price activity. And traders, lastly, I do want to take a look at Bitcoin futures, this being the CME five Bitcoin contract, which closed up $185 higher today, a two and a quarter percent gain at 84.15. What is interesting is the fact that it did gap and close above its 50-day moving average, giving Bitcoin bulls the first indication that the correction that has been in play ever since reaching just about 10,000 is over. However, before we can truly say that Bitcoin has returned into a bullish mode, it has to overcome a current level of resistance at 92.17, as well as this recent top, which comes in at about 97. 
hundred. Traders, the primary topic of today's show was the identification of two umbrella patterns in both gold and the dollar, both of them being exact opposites. We saw a shooting star emerge in the dollar index and a hammer emerge in gold. Now, while one single candle is not significant and it does not trigger a reversal in terms of the market call, it is the first step to getting there. And most importantly, the hammer and gold is occurring after three days in which we have had these doji candles, which is really the point in time in which there is a shift of power from the bears to the bulls. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.